mentioned authorize yourself quite yeah. a bit. Can you talk to us a little bit nice. to, to our listeners to explain, you know, I think there's a couple of steps in that. Yeah. Well, how do you authorize yourself to lead? You authorize yourself to lead when you say, I care about something. I mean, maybe I care about more young professionals in Wichita staying here mm-hmm. and living here and raising their families here. Authorizing yourself to lead means first having that aspiration. Okay. And then second, going out and starting to have conversations with people about that challenge. Yeah. So it could be as simple like an authorizing myself to lead if I'm somebody who hasn't thought of myself as quote unquote a leader. Mm-hmm. Could mean just asking you, Ebony, what do you th- when somebody stays in Wichita, perhaps even an African American woman, mm-hmm. when an African American woman chooses to stay in Wichita, what's behind that choice? Yeah. And what else did you consider? Mm-hmm. Or what do you imagine when somebody leaves Wichita? What do you think is what what, what happened there? See, I'm authorizing myself to get curious Mm -hmm. about this challenge. And it's almost inevitable that once I start having those conversations, I'm going to find people who care about the challenge and maybe have a different perspective. Mm -hmm. And then I kind of authorize myself to look for a way that we can work together. And that happens out in the community. It also can happen in a company or an organization.